Okay. Um, we have Tim Graham on the left, Lori Rinker in the middle, and Brent Graham on the right. That's Lori's two, two boys, and of course, Lori. So what I'd like for you guys to do now is, uh, Tim is an upper core player, Lori is a middle core player, and Brent is a lower core player. What I want to show you now is the difference in shaft lean. So if you get your grips and set up and just ground the club. I want to talk a little bit about what shaft lean means. What it means is the angle of the hand. Notice that if you look at Tim, the butt of his clubs just inside his uh, groin. Lori's is a little hand, uh, hand position, shaft lean's a little more forward toward the interior of her left thigh and Brent's is pretty much right at his left thigh. That's what you're going to see by core region. So the upper core player is going to have the club back more toward the midline. Mid core is going to be just ahead of that and lower core as you've seen in some of the other videos and illustrations. So the other thing we'll see as we look at shaft lean if you'd stand tall, I'm just going to show where the lean comes from. So Tim's going to rotate his palm forward. Your number is 164.65. 165. So we know that Tim's angle, 90 degrees to the ground, is 165. So if I run this parallel to uh, up his arm, that bubble is now very centered. So that's his shaft, that's how much shaft lean he should have it addressed. So then go ahead, Tim, if you would please, and uh, ground that club. And you'll see that that goes right down his shaft and up his left arm. Okay? So shaft lean changes by core region as well because this angle also changes by core region. Lori, which, what is your. Uh, 158. 158 is Lori. So. same angle for Lori you can see now that's 158 that's absolutely perfect and the lane is absolutely perfect as well so by core region the shaft lane changes Lori while you're there you're on a mid court you're on a mid court number yes. right so I want you to stand tall and I want to show you the changes here so mid core Lori's 158 okay now Lori has her plank strip in front of her, so she can step to uh, lower core. She's going to go to number one on lower core. And let's have you rotate that ball. I don't know if you can tell on the angle of the camera, but this is a good bit more than we just saw. And now she's 153.5, so now let's go to upper core. So 1 at 58, 153, and you can see how shallow that is. This was her lower core number. So as we go through core region, you really have to know what your core regions are. And now we're at 163. So 158, 163, 155, right? 53. 53. So 10 degrees through the core. So, uh, if Lori were to set up now in her, go ahead, Lori, and set up from there. We have one upper six, core. Upper core setup. She knows how to set up upper core. She bends from the hips, no knee flex, and you notice then that that did that shaft come back a little bit? Yeah, a lot. Came back a lot, and that's her one one uh, sixty three. That's perfect. Now step to your mid core number. So if you're in the wrong core region, you're not going to be able to find your shaft lean. And as you're going to see, you're not going to be able to find your club facing. So now that is not even close. So that's her mid-core number. Okay, uh, now let's take a look at what it does down the line. So one at a time. Tim, I'll tell you what, we're going to have you move to the center. So one, what are we again, 160? Uh -oh. Okay, 165. All right. So Tim is taking to the top. 
His shaft lean and now his power at the top, that is absolutely perfect. So with the right shaft lean, the right grip, the right setup, is going to be, that's where you're going to feel your power. You feel that? One more time, Tim. Tim, I'll tell you what, change your power spots in one hand, and let's show them what happens when you don't have the grip set per correctly, even though 165, right? Yep. That's so that's way that's way off. That's a shoulder injury. You feel the weakness in the yeah. shoulder there? Yeah. So, okay. Uh, Brent, why don't you come over? There Brent is with that shaft lean and take it to the top if you would. There you go. I've got your wrist. You can drop the club, look straight ahead. And there he is. Absolutely perfect. Right on, uh, there we go. Bubble centered, that's his power at the top. Okay, Lord. And you're one, you're the 58. same. 58 and a mid core. 63 in upper core, 53 in lower core. So five degrees, and then we see that often. Tim is a more, uh, much less distribution between than Lori. Take that to the top. Okay. I have your wrist. This is an easy, easy place to check. And you can see that Lori has set that power. Feel the strength? Yes. Yeah. Feel the difference? And change your uh, power, you change the spot in one hand. So what, we're, what Lori is changing is the power spot, which is literally setting this position at the top in only one hand. And you can see immediately, that's okay. We'll just, we'll order a new light next week. Feel that? <laughs> yeah. And it's way on. <laughs> okay, now what we're going to do in our next segment, we're going to take a look at club face aim and shaft lean.